Okay, so another set of uh, questions. Uh, so this is the formula which I have written and uh, see a limit of x tending to anything or any variable. Uh, it is not necessary that uh, it will be x only. Okay, uh, it might be any way variable, right? So here, so x tends to anything uh, given a function and raised to some given function which is always given by see e power limit of x tends to n anything or f of x minus 1 you should write always you should always write uh, minus 1 yeah x minus 1 into g of x or it is also known as the monkey trick they say it is a monkey trick okay so what it is so this is a tree and here there is a monkey okay what you need to do you have to bring this monkey down so what if you have uh, such problem that is a limit of x tends to anything and if this is a tree so this is a monkey so always it is e raised to limit of x tends to anything anything and you need to bring this monkey down you should cut down the tree okay and x minus 1 so cutting down the tree is not a good idea you should grow more trees right so cut down the tree when you cut down the tree and see here this is the cutting and into 1 no, sorry uh, cut down the tree minus 1 and the monkey comes down right so this is how the trick goes on so you should cut down the tree this is your f of x and this is your g of x f of x is your tree and monkey is your g of x and you should cut down when you cut down so minus 1 it is ok so let us see how it works and these problems are very interesting problems and uh, within fraction of second also if you are good uh, in your basic uh, evaluation of limits tricks will only be generated in your mind only when your basics are strong right ok fine now here let me have the first uh, example so what i do is always have the habit of writing e first okay and limit of what is given it is n tends to infinity so my f of x is so first thing is my f of x is 1 plus 2 by n now i need to bring the monkey down so very first step it is minus 1 and into n so what i do is i need not write all this uh, stuff again and again uh, all this sorry content again and again so which is equal to so this is 1 plus 2 by n minus or else you, sorry you can write it as that is n because I multiply over here plus 2 here it is minus because you are cutting down ok minus n divided by n ok and it is n so see this and this gets cancelled 2 by n this and this and gets cancelled so your answer is that is here it is still e so e power 2 so your answer will be this ok now coming back to the second problem so now I am not going to tell you again and again see this is e power ok limit of so always have the habit of writing e and x tends to 0 so here it is uh, 1 plus a x minus 1 into that is b by x so which is equal to this one this one gets cancelled so a by x uh, into uh, divided by x into b this x this x gets cancelled so finally that is limit of x tends to a b it will be e raised to a power b now coming back to the third question so again uh, the same question write e first and whatever the limit is given and n tends to infinity this time it is infinity n plus 2 divided by n minus 1 right and here it is minus 2 n so the monkey is come down which is equal to if I multiply this over here fine so n plus cross multiply that is minus n divided by n minus 2 n ok so this n this n gets cancelled ok so here it is 2 into 2 that is minus 4 
and this n and this n get cancelled so it is minus 4 but here it is e so I have to write e raised to that is minus 4 fine again coming back to this you can take it as uh, homework I feel so your answer will be 1 by e raised to a so this is your homework problem fine coming back to this let's see um, here also there is no much problem okay I will do it for you so always write e first and the limit of x tends to z infinity it is and it is x minus 3 divided by x plus 2 okay power x okay and then um, x minus 3 divided by x plus 2 minus 1 fine and into x so this x minus 3 minus x minus 2 the whole divided by okay here it is x plus 2 fine and into that is x so which is equal to here it turns out to be that is minus 5x because this uh, sorry because this x and this x get cancelled and this x when you multiply okay so this is x plus 2 which is equal to so what I do is from the denominator I take x common outside and I write it as 1 plus 2 by x fine so this x and this x gets cancelled now if you apply that is limit of x tends to infinity and my making use of direct substitution method so this is a 1 plus 2 by x so which will give you this value after substituting it this turns out to be 0 and you are left out with e raised to minus 5 or you can write it as e raised to and that is 1 divided by e raised to 5 right and this will be your solution now coming back to this particular problem let me rub this this also has appeared uh, in one of the examination this question the seventh question yes so the seventh question is that is limit of uh, x okay so always uh, have the habit of writing uh, this I am going to evaluate the seventh question so first write uh, as e and limit of x tends to 0 dear student do not write this all this step this is only for your explanation purpose right so what I do is first uh, this is f of x hmm? so I write a raised to x plus b raised to x plus c raised to x right and divided by 3 first and minus 1 because I am cutting down the 3 and 1 by x so which is equal to I am not writing this I am di writing directly this a raised to x minus b raised to x plus c raised to x minus 3 divided by 3 into 1 by x and still I have limit of x tends to 0 fine now <coughs> so what I do I do an adjustment over here so here in the limit that is e raised to uh, 1 by 3 I take it outside and limit of x tends to 0 uh, let me write the step much more clear ok so which is equal to that is limit of sorry it is e power so here 1 by 3 uh, I take it outside and this a raised to x minus 1 plus b raised to x minus 1 plus c raised to x minus 1 into that is divided by x fine now you know by formula that is this is e raised to 1 by 3 limit of x tends to 0 see here a raised to x uh, by uh, general property of 
for limits you can write it as limit of a raised to x so if i take this if i take this thing okay so this turns out to be limit of x tends to 0 a raised to x minus 1 divided by x so it will give you log a to the base e similarly you have limit of x tends to 0 a raised to x sorry if you take b fine if you take b raised to x minus 1 divided by x it will turn out to be log of b to the base e same way i will include this particular thing and i will include this particular thing fine so what i will get by making use of this limit okay and by the property of limits so here this will turn out to be my log a plus log of b plus log of c okay which is equal to e raised to this 1 by 3 outside and limit of x tends to 0 this by property again this will be log of a b c which is equal to e raised to okay sorry because already i have uh, applied the limit so i will not include extremely sorry here yeah because i am writing directly because i have evaluated it yeah now it is correct so because when i evaluate this to this particular form so log a log plus log b plus log c and e raised to 1 by 3 log a b c so this is limit of yeah so this is 1 by 3 i take it log of a b c 1 by 3 since here it is e so by property you know that i can write it as a b c power 1 by 3 and this will be your solution now let us see another set of problems okay so these type of uh, problems i have uh, specially taken in the last so maximum most of the problems in limits can be easily evaluated by making use of there's a concept known as that is l hopital's rule l So while pronouncing it, it is L Hospital's rule. Most of the students uh, say it L Hospital's rule. It doesn't matter, but mm, matter of fact, this is the way of pronouncing it. It is L Hospital's rule. So evaluating the problems of uh, that is, we have come across the indeterminate form that is zero by zero, infinity by infinity, infinity uh, into zero, okay, one power infinity, and so on. So problems of this type. Uh, whenever making use of direct substitution to the given function and if uh, the function arises in this particular form that is 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity or infinity into 0 we have certain uh, um, so what at that time what we make use of L Hopital's rule now here by making use of direct substitution method that is uh, log of sin x sin x value is 0 so log of 0 so this is infinity so x if i substitute it here so infinity so what you need to do is whenever you are uh, and there arises an indeterminate form only for this particular case because the other case you have certain uh, tools and techniques so what you need to do is you have to bring this to 0 by 0 first and then again or else by any other method also and then evaluate it okay for the final answer now what i do is so whenever this is an indeterminate form so this is you say this is an this is an indeterminate form okay okay so which is equal to i need to what if uh, there is an indeterminate form what you need to do is you need to differentiate it so what is log of sin x so log of sin x will always give you that is cos x divided by sin x divided by so cortex i will write it as cos x square x which in turn this cos x square x i can write it as this minus sign i will write it as it is so cos x divided by sin x into sin square x 
okay and my limit is still there huh? with this which i am not writing it so this and this gets cancelled so it is minus cos x sin x so i said limit of x tends to 0 so here it is what the value is 0 because uh, sin x is 0 and cos x is 1 so anything multiplied by 0 is 0 so your first solution is 0 now coming back to this particular problem now see here if i substitute uh, in the place of x as pi by 2 it turns out to be 0 and tan x also it turns out to be 0 so this again it is infinity by infinity problem so what i do is i differentiate this so this I get it as 1 divided by x minus pi by 2 the whole divided by so tan x differentiation it is 6 square x I am not writing this this is only for your understanding purpose okay which is equal to 6 square can be written as see here this value I can write it as cos square x divided by x minus pi by 2 now again make use of and that is a direct substitution method so if i substitute pi by 2 here that is cos square x that is cos square pi by 2 so here it is 0 and if i substitute x uh, in the place of x as pi by 2 here it becomes 0 so again it is 0 by 0 so what i do is i again differentiate this so you need to differentiate it so if you are good at uh, differentiation right so cos square x i can write it as minus 2 which is equal to minus 2 cos x and sin x divided by differentiation of this denominator see here and one more thing you need you need not take u by v role which is wrong individually for the numerator and denominator you need to differentiate denom numerator dif separately and uh, denominator you need to differentiate separately right so please do not uh, make a mm, conclusion that uh, whenever you have an indeterminate form of the uh, form uh, 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity you need to differentiate it but not by the uh, u by v rule or the quotient rule you need to differentiate the numerator separately and the denominator separately now coming back to the problem so if i differentiate this particular thing so here it is mm, 1 so this is of the form 2 sin theta um, cos theta so i can write it as sin sin 2x which will give you 0 so i am every time i am not uh, writing the limits right so yes so let me come back to the final uh, question so x tends to 0 my making use of c here this log of 0 again it turns out to be what it is 0 fine so here it is 1 log of 1 see here here if this turns out to be 0 but this turns out to be 1 but log of 1 is 0 again it is in uh, sine of uh, 3x it is 0 so whenever you see this indeterminate form the very first thing is you should differentiate the numerator and denominator separately so what i do is i will write this as limit of x tends to 0 so if i differentiate this numerator separately so what do i get so it is 1 so it is 1 divided by that is sin 7x plus cos 7x into that is since it is a composite function so 7 cos 7x minus 7 sin 7x right the whole divided by sin 3x i can write it as 3 cos 3x sorry So this is separately done fine so which is equal to then see here again by direct substitution method see here this will turn out to be 0 this will turn out to be 1 and here <coughs> this will turn out to be 0 cos 3x if i substitute x as 0 it turns out to be 1 if i substitute x as uh, 0 so this turns out to be 1 so your final answer will turn out to be 7 by 3 okay so these are some uh, basic tools and techniques uh, which are very useful uh, for your entrance examination to be noted down and this comes by practice and uh, that's it and that's this happy ending and it's best of luck.
थैंक यू